What is going on, fam? What you guys saying? I am back with another YouTube video on NFTs, play to earn, all that stuff. This one is going to be a little different because this is not something I'm, I'm invested in because it doesn't even exist yet. So uh, Nintendo just recently came out and said uh, they wanted to get involved in the NFT industry, which is a massive, massive, massive announcement. Uh, give it a few years from now. These announcements won't be as important, won't be as big because I truly believe every company, every industry is going to move digital uh, to NFTs. And I think Nintendo coming out, trying to come out one of the first ones to say, hey, listen, we're gonna we're jumping into NFTs, um, into the NFT space is massive. Just think of the potential Pokemon alone has. Look at these cards. These are actually fan-made. These are not official uh, Nintendo or Pokemon NFTs. This is fan-made. Just imagine what the team could do like the actual team behind Pokemon, the actual team behind Nintendo. Just imagine what they could do uh, with the budgets they have, with the with the team they have, the artists they have. Um, this is beautiful. Look at the, how the Charizard just kind of like blows that fire right through the right through the card. I think that's just absolutely genius. Um, and again, like I say, just imagine what the real team could do behind this. So this is just a few cards. You see the Squirtle and, and Pikachu and Charizard. Um, but the actual cards, actual Pokemon cards themselves are so valuable. You see Charizard cards selling for three or $400,000, you know what I mean? Which is wild. Just imagine what these NFTs could sell for, um, which would just blow my mind. Imagine if there's the playable game. There's actual play to earn behind it. Think of the possibilities. So not only are you buying your NFTs, they're actually the cards you're going to use in your deck to battle against other opponents. You can either wager, whatever, polka coins, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can earn polka coins, whatever you want to call it, whatever their currency is going to be by winning battles you go into tournaments there's big pools big prizes the possibilities are endless and that's just on pokemon alone imagine you know uh, i say mario i know a lot of you guys call it mario super mario i'm canadian i don't know if it's a canadian thing tell me in the comments below do you say mario or mario i say mario anyway um they have uh you know, just imagine like with, with, with mario you can have go-karts mario kart you know what i mean you race your carts you buy your nft go-karts you race your your mario kart go-karts you know they have um mario party you can use your nft play games wager coins maybe just earn coins by winning you could literally the possibilities are so endless um i haven't read anything about what they're planning on doing these are just ideas off the top of my head and who am i you know i'm just some regular guy making a video about this so if these are the ideas i'm coming up with that nintendo could do just imagine what these guys are thinking of and these guys are the big brains that are behind nintendo it's massive they have a nintendo world coming out in japan i believe nintendo is massive so there's so many things they could do. They could partner up with, say, GameStop. They could get on Immutable X. They could get on these things, and it's like, if you pre-order the next Pokemon game, you're going to get an NFT with it. Or if you pre-order whatever game, or whatever you do, you're going to get an NFT with it as well. There's so many possibilities. Um, this is this is something I'm very, very, very excited for. Uh, when Nintendo does get involved in NFTs, or if Pokemon specifically... Uh, that would be something that I personally will invest in. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just a video that I want to share with you guys and put it out there and show you guys what's there. But uh, personally, this is something I really want to get involved with. Um, hopefully it comes out. I mean, this could not even be in the works yet. Nintendo just announced it a few days ago, maybe last week, that they want to get into the NFT space. So this could be, you know, months, years away. Maybe it's already in the works. Who knows? But I'm super excited about it. That's all I know. Um, and you know what? If you made it this far, hold on a sec. I got something for you. Okay, I'm back. So I grew up with Nintendo. It's something that I literally grew up with in the 80s. I played Mar Super Mario 1, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3. I've owned every system all the way up. Nintendo's been a big part of my life. Um, so I personally am super, super interested in this. I'm super invested in this. And Nintendo's very smart how they corner the market because they start off, you know, like my generation. We were playing Super Mario 1. Now we're older. Uh, we have kids now, you know, and our kids are playing Mario. And the best thing is now they're bringing out NFTs. So this is our childhood they're catering to. So they're coming out with NFTs. This brings our memories back from our childhood. We're going to want to get invested. Our kids are interested in it. And they're very, very smart with their business plan because it's like a rinse and repeat. So now our kids are invested in, into uh, Mario and Nintendo. And then when they have kids, it's going to rinse and repeat. So think about the possibilities. You have Pokemon NFT cards that you can actually play the card game with and, you know, make your deck, play against your opponents, earn 
whatever their currency is, if it's polka coins or whatever you want to call it, and it's a play to earn. You beat your opponents, play to earn. You could get into tournaments where the pools could be really big uh, of the prize pool and all stuff is NFTs or uh, polka coins, whatever you want to call it. Think of things like Mario Kart, where it's, you know, uh, you get your NFT, it's your kart racer, you're racing other people for a second, third, get so many coins, or you can wager your carts or whatever it is. Uh, the possibilities are endless uh when you're when you're dealing with nintendo and crypto and all this stuff because because there's just there's so big there's so many things that they're into again like i said just the pokemon coins alone uh just the pokemon nft cards alone um there's massive possibilities mario kart massive possibilities again guys do you say mario or mario let me know in the comments below i say mario a lot of people say mario but let me know in the comments below but like i say i i think the possibilities are endless just on those two games mario kart and pokemon uh nft card game absolutely incredible so here's the thing i know i keep talking about you know pokemon and stuff but there's so many possibilities again with mario kart with pokemon with metroid you name all these games that are nintendo staples and you have a gold mine there's so such a big fan base from you know young kids to adults to grandparents the list goes on and on so i personally again not financial advice I personally plan on investing into this. Um, I couldn't be happier when I heard the news. Now, you know, there's rumors that they're going to be uh, going on the Immutable X uh, platform. Who knows? That's not confirmed or anything. There's just speculations behind that. So tell me your thoughts below. What do you think of Nintendo getting involved with the NFTs? Uh, which one would you be most excited about? Which costume did you like the best today? And uh, let me know. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I appreciate uh, you guys taking the time to watch the video. We do stream on Twitch six nights a week. Twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. I'll leave the link below. Come by. Check us out. We talk NFTs. We don't talk NFTs. We play games. We're very community based. Come by. Check us out. I'm really excited to get to know you. Um, I appreciate you being here. I'm out of here. Let's go. Peace.